Hi guys, Karibuni sana. Welcome to my kitchen space. Today I'm going to prepare dinner with you guys. So tonight I'm going to prepare fish fillet. I have my fillet here with me today. And then I'm also going to prepare potato wedges. So I'm going to do fried potato wedges and um, marinated fish fillet. And uh, my spices today, yeah. I'm going to, to use janajera just for seasoning. And then I have my parsley, alafu, I have my mixed spices, give it for spices, don't worry. And then I have my garam masala, um, paprika, and then I also have a curry powder. I don't know why, I normally can't work without curry powder. And then, of course, my soy sauce. And um, butter, instead of butter, I'm going to use my blue bun. And then, I also have this, and these are breadcrumbs, and then of course my salt, and uh, my cooking oil. And then of uh, the dry spices, I have my onions, I have my onions, just for sorting the, 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 the wedges, and then I have my tomatoes for um, garnishing, and then of course my pili pili pomo for garnishing steam and then I have my coriander and then no sorry this is what broccoli and then I have my coriander and my lemon um very good now now next I'm going to mix all my dry spices and then marinate the, the, the fillet and then you wait for freezer for some 30 minutes before I I, I get to the fry I fry it so I have my measuring spoon with me here Aba, me, one tablespoon and then um, this is half tablespoon and then this one is a quarter tablespoon so I'll be using this one tablespoon for each of the spices so first um, I'll use this garam masala, which is a tablespoon. I jai sana. And then paprika, I'll do one tablespoon too. I'll bring one tablespoon because I have like um, uh, three pieces of my chicken. I don't know how many times that is. And then I have my parsley. I'm going to sprinkle parsley in addition to the next because if I do it now, it's a potato and then. And then, let me remove what I'm going to use. Um, I have my mixed spices for the mix, mixed spices in the Nigeria. I'll do half, half tablespoon, basically too much, too spicy. This is half. That is mixed spices, and then I have the Nigeria. I'll do half. And then now I have my curry powder. I'll do curry powder. Tablespoon of curry powder. And then now I have my sauces. Soy sauce, I'll do one tablespoon of soy sauce. So I'm done with this. And then now I have to add a tablespoon or so of, um, of salt. Salt to taste. One tablespoon. This is a half tablespoon, so I've done two tablespoons to, to add up to one tablespoon. And then now, this is done. This is the mixture. I have to mix it. But first, I have to mix my butter. So, uh, sorry, I also have uh, the lemon juice. I'll also add it in. And then now, I have my butter. Butter, butter, substitution of butter. So this butter, I'm going to melt it. I'm going to melt it locally and then add it into the mixture. So yeah, this is my hot water. I have my hot water. And this is my butter now. I'm going to melt it in here. So at least it will be done in a few minutes and then i'll mix the mixture a la fully marinate the fish and then uh put it in back into the freezer so yeah i have my melted butter now i'll add up to the mixture and then mix my mixture vinegar into the mixture it's still best like I don't prefer using vinegar but uh, because the mix is still um, best like I'll have to add vinegar and then still stir the mixture so 
So this is how the mixture looks like. So yeah, after I get that paste, so I'm going to marinate my fish. So I use I use this big bowl because it's easier for me to marinate it if you want to space it with that, getting it in here. So yes, now I'm going to marinate my fillet. I love food. I prefer using my hands because the the fish normally is very soft so it will be a mikono at least it makes it swell and marinates well than just using any other So I'm done, this is what I have, so I'm going to cover it and then put it into my freezer for like 30 minutes and then I'll have it to fry it. Then I'll show you the end product, so it's ready now, I was heating it, so it's ready, then I'll add my cooking oil, this one is for deep frying the, the, the wedges, the potato wedges, let me open this to get you now. So we want to check if our oil is ready. So what normally I do to check if the oil is ready, I use my cooking stick. So if I see the bubbles, then I'll know it's ready. But if the cooking still is still cool, then I'll know my oil is not yet ready. So I want to confirm with this cooking stick. So this is what I do. I normally dip it. You see, you can see the bubbles. So many, it's already ready. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead to deep fry my wedges. I'm using this spoon, you see to make it. I'll add little by little. You can stay here and come, but all this ready. Happy here! Let's go, let's go, let's go! The way is cooked, so I'm going to um, on the other side of my cooking sauce. I'm going to try and um, uh, prepare the fillet because now they are already ready. So I'm going to put this part and then. So this is my fish. I'm going to sprinkle my breadcrumbs. So I let it cook for some minutes before I turn the over. 
Now my first bunch of veggies is ready. This is how they look like. Let me show you. You see, you can feel the crunchiness. So I get them off and put them. So yes, after everything, this is the end product. So I'll serve it with cold juice and uh, and then I've garnished it so it's ready. <laughs>